world is finished its course. I will meet you in heaven. Now, isn't it a glorious thing? Jesus is saying, I finished my work, but yet I left a part of that in your hands. Now, all you got to do is to trust him, stick close to him, because I tell you, no matter how much you profess Jesus Christ, if you are not connected to him in a continual growing, you are useless, you are fruitless, and you are no good to serve him. Now, now you may look at me funny, but I'm so glad that he's a merciful God because what he does, if you find out that you are a useless uh, branch, then you're saying, Lord, whatever it is that I need, cut back on me, take it away. Because some of you are Christians, but yet sometimes you don't think right. Now, if you're honest with yourself, sometimes you do not think right. And sometimes you are just not in the right mood because flesh is more powerful in you than the spirit of Christ in you. So you just might as well be honest with yourself. And whatever that is, just say, Lord, cut it away. Are y'all hearing me? Because sometimes I'm wondering, do we know when we are nasty? Do we know when we are in ourself more than we are in him? And that scares me. Because I got a lot of people around me that profess that they are fruit bearers. But sometimes it scares me. And it doesn't mean that I'm any better than you. But when you get into his word, it's like a looking glass. The only looking glass that we should be looking at is the word of God. Because every time you look at yourself in a mirror, that is really not you in the mirror. It's a reflection. Just break the glass. And then tell me, how do you look? Break the mirror and then tell me, how do you look? You think you look one way. Every one of you sitting in here who don't have a mirror in your pocket or a mirror in a box. Tell me, how do you look? The wind was blowing. Your hair is all out of shape. The big bump you have on your nose, you forgot it was there unless you feel it. You forget because the makeup is wearing a little thin. You forget because some of the, what do you call those things, come out of your hair. You forget how you look to yourself. And it takes someone else to look you in the face and say, look, what's that knot on the side of your head? What <laughs> You forget how we look. I'm telling you the best mirror that we could ever look through is the word of God. Because the word of God lets us know where we're short, where we are coming short. 